Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you how you can conduct a covert analysis using Wasweaver software. So for this demonstration, I will take use of uh, the sustainable tourism related papers that are published in business management and accounting discipline considering the Scopus database. So in order to search for the related articles, I will uh, type uh, sustainable tourism. In our Try searching, but before I'm going to try searching, I'm going to put sustainable tourism inside the brackets, title, abstract, and keywords. If you are not sure as to why I'm doing so, you can check out my other video on how you can use advanced uh, search option in Scopus. So for the time being, I'll enter it like this, right? Sustainable tourism. Entering this inside the inverted commas. Okay. Now, when I proceed with the search option, uh, I'm sure there are like a uh, new enormous number of uh, papers that had got published on this area because it's a trending area. So, uh, looking at your left side of the interface, you can see the range. So, you can see there's an increasing trend here. And what are the subject areas under which these publications have been made? And what is the document type, article, book, chapter, conference paper, and so on? On which language the papers had got published? Keywords, in which country, source type, source title, and so on. A lot of options are there. So you can uh, check it by yourself when you're performing your own search. So for this analysis, I'm going to limit uh, my uh, my uh, COVID analysis uh, to only 2000 to 2024 papers. And I'm going to uh, look at only the subject area, business management and accounting. So here I've been left with 4,102 documents. And I'm going to limit to English language as well as my focus will only be on the Australian context published uh, sustainable tourism paper. So here from this option country, I'll be selecting Australia. Now when I limit my uh, uh, search accordingly, I've been left with 4,600. Uh, 468 documents. So initially I had 8,000 odd papers and now I have only 468 papers. So now what I'm going to do since I'm uh, trying to perform a covert analysis using Wasweaver, I'm going to export the CSV file for all these documents. All documents, not only on this page, but uh, how many pages we've been having? So all the documents, all 468, right? CSV documents, one, from one to 468. I'm going to download all these details, right? It's in CSV format. Remember, in order to like upload your file for covert analysis and have a beautiful like um, sort of a visualization of um, the covert analysis, you need to like have the file in the CSV format since uh, it's uh, since it is was we were friendly. So when I exported the file. Uh, it's, it is getting downloaded. I will show you the file. Yeah, it's getting downloaded. Yeah, all right. Okay, so this is now, this is my file. <laughs> so this is the CSA file, right? So uh, once after you have downloaded the CSV file as suited for your research, 
as suited for your uh, search uh, query that you have used, you will be downloading the file accordingly. So this is the CSV file now I have. So I will be saving this uh, in the relevant uh, folder so that I can easily locate it when I try to upload it to my uh, Vosviva software, sustainable tourism, right? All right, now let me open Vosviva. So for the time being, just uh, ignore I have like uh, performed a covert analysis. Uh, I'm going to perform my covert analysis for the sustainable tourism related Australian papers. I will go to create option in Vosviva, then create map based uh, on bibliographic data. Choose this option to create a co-authorship, keyword co-occurrences, uh, citation bibliographic coupling or co-citation map based on bibliographic data. So what uh, what is the sort of, are you going to perform a performance analysis or science mapping sort of a technique? You can uh, do both of them using this option, having used bibliographic data. So for the time being, I'm going to use, as you had already seen, I downloaded my file from Scopus. Uh, so supported file types, Web of Sciences, Scopus, Dimensions, uh, Lens, and PubMed. For my analysis, it's Scopus. And now I'm going to select my uh, CSA file accordingly. When I click OK, and uh, when I click on Next option, uh, let's see, it's it's getting uploaded to Wasweaver. So uh, now it has got uploaded and now I want to perform a uh, covert analysis. So in order to perform covert analysis, covert analysis simply means that you are trying to have a sort of a map in order to understand in the selected field of research what sort of discussion is ongoing by looking at uh, the author keywords as well as the index keywords. So author keywords uh, and index keywords are the main unit of analysis. So most of the time we can use all keywords to have a better sort of a picture. Uh, so here uh, I've taken uh, the type of analysis co-occurrences and I've used all keywords option and I'm taking use of full counting method. So you can read these instructions on uh, the when you like uh, take your cursor near the uh, question mark, you can see, uh, you can understand as to what is stated there, as to what is full counting and fractional counting. And uh, I'm using full counting method here. So the minimum number of occurrences of a keyword, uh, if I use five, I'm getting her and one, that's too much. So I, I will be uh, increasing it to 10. So that's totally up to you to decide as to what is the minimum number of co -occur uh, occurrences of a keyword that you are using. Suppose that you have like uh, around uh, 50 to 60 papers. So probably the number of uh, co -occurrences, occurrences of a keyword would be uh, relatively lesser. Whereas if you have number of like more than uh, 1000 papers, uh, so you can uh, increase the number of uh, key uh, occurrences of a keyword and do the analysis accordingly. It's, it's completely up to the researcher to decide that. So sometimes we have to uh, uh, try and uh, after we see the visualization, we are not satisfied it satisfied with it. So we can like change the occurrences of a keyword and do the analysis again. So that's not much of a problem. So when I use uh, 10 as minimum number of occurrences of a keyword of the 18 uh, of the 1808 keywords i'm getting 34 that had met the threshold so uh, when i click on next you can see for each of the 34 keywords the total uh, strength of the uh, co occurrences uh, links with other keywords will be calculated the keyword uh, keywords with the greatest total link strength will be selected. So that's that's the sort of the uh, argument that uh, Vosweaver will be using in order to generate our visual visualization for the covert analysis. When I click on uh, next, 
So in a tabular format, it's very nice to see that uh, how many occurrences have been there with regards to each of the keyword along with the total link strength is given. So ecotourism, sustainable tourism, tourism management, Australia. Uh, likewise, you can see uh, like uh, the uh, keyword along with uh, the occurrences and total link strength. So sometimes uh, in certain cases, you might feel that uh, the same uh, meaning is illustrated through two keywords, right? So in such cases, you can merge these two keywords. Um, how to do the merging of keywords using the thesaurus option in Wasweaver, I'll show you in the next uh, part two of this video. So for the time being, you can like do a sort of a screening as to what are the keywords and check whether there are any such uh, cases as uh, I've stated, like uh, two keywords giving the same meaning. So we can merge those two keywords. For example, let's see, uh, environmental protection, interpretation, nature-based tourism. So nature-based tourism and uh, ecotourism, uh, I think we can uh, do a sort of a merging uh, with the assumption that both of them uh, gives the same meaning. So eco-based and uh, here we have nature-based tourism and eco-tourism. I will be merging these two as one so that instead of nature-based tourism, this count also will be getting ecotourism in the next part of the video. So you can see that in the next part of the video. For the time being, we'll try finishing this analysis and see what sort of a visualization we'll be getting. So here, when I click on finish, you can see a very nice uh, forward analysis is uh, there. So uh, go to your left side and see how many clusters you have got. So you have got uh, five knowledge clusters. Uh, Looking at each of the cluster, looking at the red cluster, you see that climate change, uh, governance approach, developing uh, world, tourism management, sort of like uh, it's more of uh, this cluster seems to be uh, discussing more of uh, the climate change and tourism management aspects, uh, focusing the dual, uh, developing uh, countries. So, uh, we cannot like simply say what's going to be the main discussion inside each of these clusters without having the proper understanding of what is actually stated in the paper. So it is highly recommended for the researcher to go through the full uh, papers and have the sort of like uh, understanding what is discussed in the paper so that you can relate it to the visualization and come up with a good interpretation. So for the time being, looking at this visualization, what I can um, simply say is that the sustainable tourism in the Australian context, so as you can remember, when we were downloading the respective CSV file from Scopus, we limited our search to Australian context only. So looking at the Australian context, sustainable tourism area, there are five uh, main knowledge clusters. Uh, so you can see the knowledge clusters here on your left side. The keywords under each of these knowledge clusters is visible. So this is how you can perform a covert analysis using Wasweaver. So please uh, check out my next video to see as to how you can use the thesaurus option to merge two keywords if those two keywords give the same meaning. For example, in this case, how ecotourism and nature-based tourism could be merged. Okay, thank you everyone. See you on the next video.